Hi guys, Ruth here from Delta and Gifts and welcome to Just One Minute. Hi guys, I'm Ruth from Beltane Gifts and welcome to the Crafting Shed. I just put my hair out of the way. Okay, so I mentioned before when we were doing the felted shapes that what I wanted to do was make a mobile out of them all. So I thought it's about time for me to actually have a go at doing that. So I've got all my bits here, I'm using another little camera here just so you can see the close-ups and see what's going on. Um, I've got some of the shapes that I've done, so I've got my hearts and my clouds and also my stars. And I'm also going to be using today some weird looking pliers. Don't worry about these, these are for jump rings, they're the only ones I could find in short notice. So if you just use some normal pliers, that's great. I've got a like a key ring ring here, pop that there. This is so that you've got something to hang your mobile from. I've got a big metal ring here which is what's going to be our base. Some fishing wire, this is 0.25mm so it's quite a fine one but the felted shapes are really light so you don't need anything too heavy. Um, a darning needle, and some of these, which are, I'm not sure if you can see those, let me pop them in front of here. These are what are called crimps. So they're used in jewellery making, and what they are is just a, a metal, like a bet metal bead, but it's a squishable one. So what you do is you put it on between your fishing line, put um, it back upon itself through the, the crimp, and then crush it with some pliers, and that holds your fishing wire together. It's just because because it's synthetic fibres, it's you just can't, hold a knot in it. You can tie the knot but the knot will just come undone. So these really really help with that. So get rid of the dog here. What we're going to do is start off by setting up how many different things we want dangling. So I'm going to go for eight different strands. The reason I'm doing this is I'm going for a nice even number and um, it's just going to make it easier to balance everything out. So get your fishing line and you're going to want eight equal lengths. I'm going for about that much. Okay, so I'm going to get eight of those. Now, I forgot to get some scissors, so I'm going to have to dash off and grab some of those. I can see some from over here. Like a ninja. So, scissors, just put that, now I'm cutting quite a bit off both ends and that's just because it wasn't quite exactly the same length, so what I've done is I've just cut it off so now this should be about right. What we want to do now is we're going to be connecting this to that ring there, so we need to get one of these crimps. Now these are really tiny and fiddly, so I'm probably going to drop a few. Should have got them out beforehand. There we go. And what we want to do is get all of these strands 
through this one loop all at the same time. So, in there. I think what I'm going to have to do is just get as many as I can and then just push any ones that escape through separate. Now we've got our crimp on there, we're going to wrap these ends just through that hoop, through there, and then we're going to try and get them all back through the same crimp. get two strands through so I'm going to get rid of them. There we go. So we're going with six strands. Now, you can see they're through there and round the hoop. Now that's going to give us something nice and secure to work with. So next, take your pliers and what we're going to do is just put the pliers just over the crimp and we're going to crush it. Okay, I'm going to use this part of the pliers because as I say I've got the wrong ones with me. Always prepared. So there we go. There we go. So I've crushed that. You can see it's quite flat. Now if you pull, nothing's moving and that gives us something to hang our mobile off of. So next step we want to attach this to our hoop. Work out high, how high up you want it to be. And what we're going to do is just go round, put a crimp on your piece of fishing line before. I told you that quickly. There we go, we're going to pop that on there. And we're going to put this around here, and I'm going to wrap it round twice. Round once, round twice, just so it's wrapped around the hoop. And then we're going to go back through the crimp. Much easier when it's just one strand. And now we work out how high we want this to be. Just going to use the So, put that down. Just going to pull. And what that does is it gets the crimp right next to the loop. And then with our pliers again, just going to squish it. Now you need to crush it a lot more for this one, just because this one's a lot finer. That's the length we're going to have. So to get the others the same, I'm just going to put crimps on all the others. We've got our crimps on all of them. What we're going to do is just raise them up so that the crimps go down because we don't need them just yet. We don't want them falling off. So now all of these wires are going to be the same length as the first one we did. So we're going to use that one as our gauge. Okay, so we hold that away, put that out of the way. Choose one of your strands. Okay. 
bring your crimp down. Now pull your ring away. There you go, because you want this one, the first one you do to be tight, and that gives you the length that you need for your second one. Pull your second cord tight, put your thumb on the loop, and then feed it through your crimp. And still holding your ring away, pull tight. Now see both of those strands are tight, your crimp's right up against the ring there, so you can let go now. Hold your wire together, get your pliers, and again, give it a squeeze. Two down. So I'm just going to do the rest. Okay, so we've got our six strands popped on, and what we're going to do now is just slide them along so that they're a bit more evenly placed. Now with my ring I've got this bit where it's been soldered together so it won't slide over, I just have to slide them around from the other side. And you want to get them as evenly placed as possible because we want this to be able to balance. So you might have to have a little play with this. Don't worry um, too much right now because you're going to have to play with it again later to get it to go where you want. Now, I'm a little bit off centre because some of these aren't quite as precise as they should have been. But never mind, have a little play. Go, so it should be balancing now. There we go. So, once you've got this set up, it's time for you to start adding your felted sections. So, I have to decide what we want to add. So, I'm going to start with a star. I've got my star there. This stuff can be used with a darning needle now, which is great. So, just Pop your needle onto your fishing line and because of the way that needle felting works you can sew straight into it which is great too. Now think of how you're going to have things hanging. I want the star to be hanging with one of the points upwards so to do that I'm just going to go through the centre of that point okay, and just come out in between the two points there. <coughs> now, I've got quite a bit of thread here, so I can probably get two stars on this, this line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a little stitch just through the star itself. And this is just to help stop it sliding, because otherwise it will slide up and down the thread. So just give it a pull, make sure it's nice and secure. With this fishing line it will stretch if you pull on it too much just because it's quite fine stuff so don't pull too much if you can help it. Um, the stars and the clouds aren't going to be heavy enough to, to stretch it over time, it'll be fine. So I've got one on there, I'm going to put another one on, so I'm going to go for, I've got a green one, I'm going to go for that. Exactly the same process, just sew through, camera back on through. Remember to leave a, a bit of a gap. A couple of little stitches. Oops, come off. There we go. So a couple of little stitches. Try and make the stitches quite small. Uh, the smaller they are the more they're going to stick and hold in place. 
go, pull it tight, and then what you can do now is sew back through, and again just do little stitches at the top, just so it's really secure, and then what I'm going to do is sew back down once more, and I'm going to cut off the extra with the scissors. So cut as close to the star as possible without cutting through your previous stitches. There you go. So there's your first star. Now what we're going to do is add more all the way round and you want to vary the heights a bit because we don't want everything at the same height. So for the next one I'm going to go a little bit shorter before I add the first star. Oh I've got clouds as well. I'm going to add some clouds instead then. So let's pop this back on. I'm going to put the needle onto this piece of fishing line. We're going to get the first cloud. And same again, think about which way up you want it. I want to go through so that the top is at the top. So go through that first, come out through the bottom. Now this time, lay it next to you can slide it round so that your cords are next to each other. Stretch it out because you want to see where everything's going to lie. I'm thinking about up here should be about right so that you've got a bit of a gap between your two. So once you've got it how you want it, just dig in and do again a couple of stitches. very slidey stuff so it sometimes comes out of your needle. Don't worry too much, you can always just re-thread. Now the clouds that I've done are a little bit um, looser, they're not as dense as the stars, so I'm just going to do an extra stitch just to really hold it in place there. And what should I have next? Another star, I'm going to go for one of the smaller stars here. So same again through the top point out through the bottom. And this one, what I want to do is get this so that it lies just beto between oops, I'm not coming again, just between these two previous stars that we've got. So again, pull everything out. Let's go a little bit higher. Go. Once you've got it how you want it, just again those little stitches. So, I've attached all of these. Now we just have to move everything round back to where it was before to spread it out. I'm going to try, it would have been easier with the 8, but with the 6 we're going to try to just put them out evenly. Now if you do find that some of these slip just a little bit, um, where you've put your crimps on, don't worry, just a spot of glue on those will help hold things in place. Um, you can also pop it so you've got a little bit of glue just onto the, the metal ring here, um, just where your crimp are, uh, crimps are, and that should stop them from sliding around too. There we go. And then there's your mobile.